when I first heard the word stemovation, I was wondering what it meant. It looked like such a big word that needed time to digest. But from last year, having been associated with what is happening, I think this is a very, very brilliant thing that is happening to Ghana. Can you put your hands together for yourselves? You are doing very, very well. Ahisko, Ayalolo, Oprah, Kimbu. This is STEM Novation 2023 Greater Accra Regional Zone House right here at Accra Academy. You are watching it on High School Plug TV. True application of science and math schools is what we are doing here. You are indeed doing what would actually take Ghana to where we want to be. So this year, what is your project for STEM Novation? We brought a um, mechanized small scale irrigation system for urban garden. That is, um, it looks like a bed, a farm bed where we have various structures for growing of crops. Creativity is the secret sauce to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Welcome to the Greater Accra Regional Zone House of this year's STEM Innovation, brought to you by the Ministry of Education and National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program. You are watching it on High School Plug TV, the official high school media partner for this year's STEM Innovation. We are pumped to be excited and part of this initiative. My name is Nada Echamia. Many thanks to our supporter Brunswick. They produce delicious and nutritious tuna flakes that comes in various forms and flavors of your choice. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms, on Instagram, Facebook and on YouTube. It is High School Plug TV. Just like we did in other regions, today we are here to find out the schools that will make it to the grand finale. So stay with us. Is the Innovation 2023? We are here at Accra Academy for the Greater Accra Zone House, and I'm here with the CEO of National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program. He's the person of Mr. Kofi Ofosu in Kansa, and you're watching it on High School Plug TV. Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. Um, so far, how are you seeing the place? Uh, the program is going on well, just as the other zones are going in. I've been briefed, all 14 schools are here with their solutions and they are ready to present for the judges to assess them and award marks and see who will qualify for the next round. So everything is going on well so far. Mr. Kansa, what do you think about STEM Innovation and as an organization? Why do you decide to partner with the Ministry of Education to champion this course? STEM Innovation is a very innovative program all over the world. To try. If you look at USA, it is USA in terms of tech because of Silicon Valley. And they started with innovation and competitions like what we are doing in innovation before they were able to unearth the most innovative ideas to have angel investors, venture capitalists, and other ecosystem support processes in place to support them to grow. If you look at Asian countries like South Korea, they did the same. Eastern European countries like Denmark, Finland, they all did the same. Various innovation contests to unearth the best of talents, and that is how how come they have the best solutions and go world patronizing their idea so if it's TikTok it is coming from China because they paid attention to innovation if it is Facebook if it is WhatsApp it is coming from USA because they paid attention so who knows maybe in future we can also get a unicorn from one of these solutions that we are showcasing that is why as a government agency responsible for innovation we thought it wise to partner the Ministry of Education to help these young people to bring their ideas and solutions so the innovation is not just going to end at showcasing what they have, but we are going to move a step further to provide funding for them to help take these prototypes and ideas and solutions to the market so that they will become proper startups and businesses owned by the schools and the individuals who are bringing them so that in future you can also point to them and say that yes, so innovation 2023 gave birth to this idea and it became a startup and today it is helping Ghana develop a solving one socioeconomic problem or the other. I do agree with you and I'm so excited that the Ministry of Education have decided to bring such an initiative into the country. But there are lots of schools here, lots of students here. What would you say to you know, motivate the students for them to feel at ease? Because most of them are a bit nervous this morning. 
I will encourage them to put up their best. The judges are very fair. They are going to assess them, and the winners will be rewarded. If you don't win this year, maybe you will win next year. And everybody is a winner. Once you have an idea, even if you don't win the competition, you can always take advantage of one of the NEIP programs and come for sponsorship to also commercialize your idea. So the sky is the limit. The, the sky is in the limit. Thank you so much, Mr. Kofi. It was nice having you here. Thank you for a lot of innovations. What is left is commercializing this innovation to help solve real problems in our communities. So we are not going to end there. And we are not going to add your innovations to the many research findings that we have across the country. But we will make sure we provide the full portfolio of business development services that startups need to grow. So the funding will come, training, mentorship, capacity building will come, access to market will come. For those of you who need regulatory compliance and quality assurance support, that will come. Those who need technology support, that will also come. Those who need even procurement opportunities from government sector, all those uh, support services will come. So the full portfolio of services that we provide as a National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program will come to the schools and it will be incumbent on the schools to de decide whether to own them as businesses or whether to create businesses out of them for the young people who did it to own them or whether to register them in the name of the schools. And we hope to grow this from startups to unicorns in future so that just as I'm referring to some mature ecosystems from Silicon Valley, Asia, and other parts of the world, in 10 years' time, in 15 years' time, we can also refer to a solution which was showcased at STEM Innovation 2023 and say that through STEM Innovation 20, 2023, this idea was found, it was supported, and it became a business and it's helping Ghana solve one socioeconomic problem or the other. So I wish all of you the best of luck in your presentations. May the best schools win. Even if you don't win, that is not the end of the world. You can still take advantage of the many opportunities in the various entrepreneurship support agencies. Have you all heard of Pizza Man Chicken Man? Yes, it is the largest food uh, chain company in the country now. They competed in one of our competitions, NEIP Presidential Pitch 2019. They were 10th. They didn't win. But because we exposed them to the world, because we exposed them to investors, today they are the best performing you know, um, beneficiary out of the 10 people which who pitched to the president in 2019. So even if you don't win, who knows, maybe yours can become the best in future because NEIP, Ministry of Education, is going to expose your solution, your prototype, your idea to the world and prospective investors will come to your aid to help you commercialize it. I will end here and thank you and wish you all the very best in the competition. Ahisko. Ayalolo. No, I'm not feeling your energy this morning. Ahisko. Ayalolo. Ahisko. Ayalolo. Good morning. Good morning. This is STEM Innovation 2023 Greater Accra Regional Zone House right here at Accra Academy. You are watching it on High School Plug TV. And I'm here with students from Accra High School. How are you feeling this morning? Have you studied the environment? How is it treating you so far? The environment is very friendly and very nice. We really are glad to be here for some innovation 2023. Okay. We're very happy being here. All right, great. So what is your project for STEM Innovation 2023? What are you pitching? We are pitching sustainable um, gardening using plastic bottles just to reduce the escalating crisis of plastic waste in our urban areas. It's really, really thoughtful. And guys, I wish you nothing but the best. And hopefully, I see you in the... Thank you so much. Science technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, before, if you mention mathematics and there's mental, people begin to hide. That's when people get running stomach. They begin to run out of class. But now we are embracing it. All the innovation we see here is a clear application of STEM. And I know those of us following science and math quiz around, we're seeing all the paths. But the true application of science and math quiz is what we are doing here. It's good to have the theory, but the theory is not enough. You need to be able to apply it. And innovation is a proper application of STEM. So as we do wonders with science and math, we'll do even more wonders with STEM. Because now, we'll move away from being a job seeker to a job creator. 
and we want to see a lot more schools participating and us generating more ideas this is the level that we are allowed to make mistakes and be forgiven at this level make mistakes fail test the ideas experiment the ideas make all the mistakes you like this is the opportunity you have in Ghana when you make mistakes people begin to laugh at you people begin to look at you in a way STEM innovation is a platform for making mistakes because then you can get better as you grow so take the opportunity it's a golden era and use it to better your future prospect you will be the job creator and not the job seeker all these things we see here these are potential businesses we can move them from what you see to a business even if you decide to design some of these things to sell look at what you do it's not enough just selling uh, hair extensions and shoes and bags but this is what really will make you the money and it's a solid investment so i would encourage us to take that upon us even as we follow the stem innovation we shouldn't just follow it as a competition the reason why NEIP we are on board is that we help people, young people, to create businesses. And we want to see the winners to become business people come five, ten years' time. You are indeed doing what would actually take Ghana to where we want to be. Yes, STEM is here to help us solve our problems. And that is one reason why I am so excited because the problems of Ghana are so many that the generation today, me and you, should move away from the, the minds that are thinking somebody is out there who has to come and support us solve our problems. Yes, we are being encouraged to solve our own problems. And I would like to say that you girls and guys are so privileged that to be here and to be part of this innovation is indeed a miracle. Embrace it, do as you're supposed to do, and then make sure that you, when you leave school, you go with it. The reason being that I am a product of the senior secondary school back in the day. I was was to just chew poor and when you come out of school you look for somebody to hire you to what work for them but yours is different what you are learning today when you come out of schools you will not wait for somebody to hire you or somebody tell you that you don't have the required experience to work with them in the, even as you are in school you can start something on your own that is how come you are doing what you are doing today. So I am here in solidarity with whatever that you are doing in regards to STEM innovation. And I would like to say that I support you 100%. We are here at Accra Academy for the Greater Accra Regional Zone House of STEM Innovation 2023. And you are watching it on High School Plug TV. And Gracie Marie Carpet is one of the finest and talented actors we have here in the country. Bill Asamoah. Hello, good day. Good day to you too, my dear. How are you feeling? Well, I'm um, being another Scotchy son and <laughs> having been interviewed, I know. I'm feeling great. You know, it's it's an honor to be here. So, yeah. what can I say? Mr. Bill, before anything, I want to ask you this question. Do you miss being in high school? You know, coming here, seeing the strength in your uniforms and everything. Do you miss high school? Tell you what, um, I, I left. I left the high school. Where, where, we never called ours a high school. It was a secondary school. Oh, okay. Yes. So I, I am an old G. Oh, okay. okay. So um, yes, I miss my high school days, but um, not that much because I, I have lost some of the memories because my boy cry. <laughs> Okay, um, the whole idea of STEM innovation is to challenge students to bring out their innovative ideas, you know, aid them to be problem solvers in the future. What do you have to say about this initiative from the Ministry of Education? It is, it is, it is marvelous. It is a laudable idea. And, and uh, see, I, I don't have the words to even describe this whole initiative. The reason being that 
and like I mentioned, uh, an old G, yeah. we were taught to only chew and come and pour. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, and this whole STEM initiative is to have our students think, be creative, be kind of problem solvers. It's, it's something that I think it is so laudable that everyone has to be on board so that we will have a country that will be able to solve our own problems than a country where we will always be calling on somebody else to come and solve our problems for us. Uh, Mr. Bill, what would you say to the students out here? They are ready to pitch their project. Some are nervous, some are a bit confident and all. What would you say to uplift them actually? You know, I, I, I have already told them that they are all winners. In as much as you've been able to come here with something that you created on your own, you're a winner. Yeah. Trust me. In as much as they are being, um, it's a more of a competition, I still think they are all winners. Reason being that everybody came here with his or her own idea. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So, um, whatever it is that they are, you know, grading them on whatever um, marking scheme they are using to grade them or mark them. I think uh, at the end of the day, we should be happy every single student or every single school was able to come up with something that is very good and it's a problem solving initiative. Problem solving initiative. Thank you so much, Mr. Bill, for joining me here. It was nice having you here. Pleasure is all mine. Kimbu! Kimbu! And I stood at Greater Accra Rich Zone House for this year's STEM Novation. I'm here with gentlemen from Kimbu Senior High and Technical School. How are my gentlemen doing? How are you guys? Oh, we are doing well. We are okay. doing well. Yeah. So far, how are you finding the environment? Is this your first time uh, coming to STEM Novation? Um, no, please. No, please. No, please. We've, we've come for several months uh, and yeah. Okay. So this year, what is your project for STEM innovation? We brought a um, mechanized small-scale irrigation system for urban garden. That is, um, it looks like a bed, a farm bed, where we have fuel structures for growing of crops. So everyone in urban areas can, 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 can equally grow crops and, and really benefit more here. Yeah. Sounds interesting and very thoughtful of you guys. Well, I wish you guys nothing but the best. And then hopefully, I'll see you guys in the grand finale. Thank you so much. Oh, prayer. The last round. Oh, prayer. <laughs> we are here at Accra Academy. It's all about STEM Novation 2023. It's the Greater Accra Regional Zone House, and you're watching it on High School Plug TV. How are you, students, feeling this morning? How is the feeling like? Are you nervous? Are you happy? Are you feeling super confident? How is it like? We are very grateful to be present at this STEM Novation project. Okay, so what do you have for us this year? What is our super set bringing on board? Our topic for this year's challenge is urban gardening. What then is urban gardening? Urban gardening is the cultivation of crops and vegetables, which can be rice, meat, tomatoes, etc., in the cultivation of our backyard. Oh. Where you can use your backyard with the use of plastic waste containers, which is thrown outside and it can be taken at no cost or low cost and then we can take an advantage of it to cultivate these vegetables especially with rice which now ranges from 80 cities to 100 cities with the help of this practice we can harvest rice for a minimum of three years All right. and then you'll be able to use it confidently now. confidently sounds interesting well guys i wish you nothing but the best and then hopefully i see you in the grand finale thank you so much then treat everybody after this go around and let them explain the policies they they used in the creating what they've done and then you will see that in fact the country will move forward with uh, some of you what i've taken uh, is the, the the gardening the urban gardening that's what i'm going to practice after here i'll consult the students for them to take me through how i can do same in my how uh, because i don't like buying vegetables from outside but I've seen some pepper here. Yeah? I'll go there for tutorials, rice, and those things. It's a, it's a very good policy. And I will encourage the, although I'm part of the organizers, but I want to give a big thumbs up to my boss for this uh, initiative. 
and all those who are here to support us have taken my time to listen to what they've said. I always want to share the experience, so I'll consult some of you at any time so that will also bring your ideas. For some of us young politicians who are also into uh, STEM innovation, to also uh, put in something. But my problem is how we are going to do the STEM innovation to solve the problem in this country. This is what we need to trigger the policy makers' mind to start looking at how we can turn this country around. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? These are some of the things that policy makers of our country are supposed to be part of to understand what you are learning, what you are thinking, and how you can apply it in society. I beg of you, do not be lessened in spirit like Honorable said and like the various speakers said that I'm not first, I'm not second. No. The position doesn't matter. What you brought matters. It still solves a problem. So I wish we all all the best whilst the judges are going round to look at what has been presented. And I pray that going forward, the next season of STEM innovation is going to be bigger it's going to be huge and the impact is going to be clear for all to recognize. Ahisko, Ayalolo, Oprah, Bishop, Kimbu. This is STEM Innovation 2023 Greater Accra Regional Zone House right here at Accra Academy. You are watching it on High School Plug TV. True application of science and math skills is what we are doing here. You are indeed doing what would actually take Ghana to where we want to be. So this year, what is your project for STEM innovation? We brought a um, mechanized small scale irrigation system for urban garden. That is, um, it looks like a bed, a farm bed where we have various structures for growing of crops. What's up, people? This is Shadala. Welcome to Darlington. Keep watching High School Plug. High School Plug. High School Plug. High School Plug. Entertainment, campus lifestyle, talent exposure, bringing you trending news on all high school events and your juicy high school's favorite music video. Wow, wow, wow. After the fun, there's books, but after the books, there's fun again. So. Blow. Hashtag. 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 Hashtag.